So that is really bring it thought into us, and uh, we also bring it out also to teach those that they don't know because say my children is dying in lack of knowledge, which is the book of Osia, chapter four, verse six. Hallelujah! If you didn't teach some people, they would not understand. So that is the reason we just okay. Let us bring the idea, the issue out for people to for us to be free. You understand? For everyone to be free as well. Hallelujah! Even my own younger sister, she made the same mistake. My own nephew, she made the same mistake during or uh, Christmas time. Yes. Let me just. I just want to quickly say a little about that or uh, before going into the main topic where we are here today about marriage hallelujah please share this or uh, broker share it by the grace of god it's going to be a good tiding that will secure your marriage hallelujah that will bless your home and the topic again that we you know that will make you to know the things of god that will make you to know the right thing to do and the right time hallelujah thank you holy spirit so let me just please talk about uh, the mistake i said my younger sister also made before you know uh, during that christmas so god be the glory 2005 to 2006 how my husband was in nigeria or uh, was in the land of abuja in nigeria those that are from nigeria they know about it uh, capital city in abuja hallelujah when we was there living in abuja so God be the glory, we have that mind right from time being, you know, a support to those that are in need. Then not maybe we have a lot, but based on we have the art of giving according to what is the written in the word of God to so always be a help to people who really need it. So was, you know, assisting the windows, you know, the poor orphanage home and the families whom they need, you understand? So we have, I just want to fast it, okay? I don't want to, to delay our topic today. So uh, we was doing all those things right from time at home. We have used to it. So since we came to Europe, we have been doing it. We have never really stopped it, you understand? Every uh, Christmas time and even sometimes uh, two times in a year, even when we go home, we do it ourselves. So if we didn't go home, we send money down home for them to go to orphanage and to, to go to the windows, you know, like uh, windows or, you know, some family who is in the, who is in the need, you understand? So that is how we was doing it. So this Christmas, I've never really sent my sister that. I've been sending other people, people in Abuja, because we normally spend our time before coming in Abuja. We spend our time in Abuja before coming to Europe. Hallelujah. I was in Abuja, 2005, 2000, oh. 2006 to 7 we came down here 2008 early 2008 to europe i sent my sister uh december so when i sent her ever since i've been sending people you know or uh, ever i've been sending other people even my brother when my brother was in nigeria by the grace of god every uh, last month every last day of january mm -hmm. after we have do our fast for prayer we send him something to take to a poor shop whereby they really need it you understand whether my brother was even doing it or not, I didn't know, but my happiness was doing it. Why do I even say I don't know? Because even the car would take home to him in 2012 for him to help us to keep the car. At the end of the day, sell the car and uh, use it to travel. So I don't really know if he was doing it there or not, but the happiness of it was doing it. So until this Christmas day, we sent my, my nephew, my, my younger sister. So we sent her, I asked her to, we sent, we do it in different, different areas, like three places in, or in area, just like a street. I asked my younger sister to ask in a street, how many windows, poor windows, who really need it? How many is in her area? She told me she have she have found out seven. She has seven in her area. So we also ask in different friend area. We do it in three part area. Hallelujah. So when she said it's seven, so okay, we say okay, we send money for some bags of rice and yams and all those food items, oil, yeah, everything about food and some little thing inside envelope to give to all those poor people. You understand? So after we have sent the money down, so I just want to remind that please, window have window. I even used my husband's mother to make an example. Just like my husband's mother, uh, my husband lost his father when he was uh, 17 years old. So my mother, my husband's mother has been a window for long. So I just used my husband's mother to make an example to her. Like my husband's mother now, like a window like her that has children in her blood. It's not this kind of window I'm talking about. I'm talking about a window that doesn't have any help. Who has no real help? It's coming from. It's really suffering really needed. These are the people you want to give all those things to, these food items to, that they really appreciate. In the name of God, will be praised and glorified. Hallelujah. She now said, okay. So by the time I just called her to confirm that, please make sure it's the really poor one you have to give it to. She said, yes, she are fine there. And the uh, pastor was even happy about it. I said, pastor was happy. Happy about what? She said, she said to the pastor, she wants to come and share the food in the church. Hallelujah. And I said to her, listen, I that I send this money to you. I am a prophetess of the Most High God. My husband is a, is a pastor. 
Hallelujah. We doesn't know all those people that we are giving all those things to. They doesn't know us. But we are doing it here because this is the will of God. And this thing has been helping us since we started it. It has been helping us. It has opened a way for us. It has opened a door for us. We have never lacked since right from time when we started this. Even right from my young age, before I even met my husband, I've been doing it. You know, I have that heart of giving. My husband as well, he was also doing it until we came to meet together. And God led us together to also have that the same mind to always do all those things. You understand? So, and I said, we didn't know all those people. We just do it because this is the things of God. How can you take it to church? When you take it to church now, pastor, will, uh, they will use it to thank that pastor. And again, the, uh, even pastor and his wife, they might even take some of the food. You understand? She may be looking at me now. She's my sister. She's my cute sister. My nephew, she's so, she's so wonderful. She have, we have been sending her message. This is what I said. When I tell her, she really picks. She understands immediately. Her sister, you are right. You understand? So, she now, she now said, okay, she will go and tell her pastor that. No, no. I said, if you do this thing in your area, then your street. All those people, they didn't know us. But all their time, we received the blessing because we are the one that spent the money and God's known before us. But you will also receive the blessing. Yes, you will receive the blessing from God because, and even people in that area as well, they will be thanking you for you doing that thing to them. Your sister sent you. You didn't uh, refuse to do it. You do it. They will be thanking you. Then you taking it to church. Pastor did not even know anything about it. Pastor will be giving it to them. They will, be, will not be used to thank pastor. Pastor, and they, at the end of the day, pastor will, you know, to even take some of food out away from that food. It will not be enough for the uh, the windows who really need it. Why well, I send it to go and give it to? She now said she understands, so I should please forgive her about that. And I said, okay. So until when she do, when she really did, this, I asked her to do a short video of it. She did a short video of it. When she did a short video, I see all those old women, all those poor windows who really need all those things. There was. Pray for her, pray for us here. Pray for her that oh, you are really good, you are a good person. Your sister asked to come and do this thing. Come and do this. as I was praying for us, I was praying for her. I watched the video and everything. I said after the video, I said, You see, this is what I was telling you. Now, God, you they have prayed for you. It's better than you take it to church. Pastor, that the, 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 the pastor that holds the church, that know that the member is hungry. And this is the church that be so you know, uh, so sit for this. Is the church they are be paying off it to, and this is the same church they are be paying their tithes to. The pastor did not consider there is a poor one in his church for him to help. You understand? So we send it to you, share it to people in your area. As she do it in her area, we also send going to different, different area. We do it in different, different three places. Hallelujah. To the glory of God. All thanks to God. So when I warn her about that, she really understands. She understands that it's really good to do something for the name of God to be praised and glorified. Not to go and thanks our pastor out there who know nothing about it. Hallelujah. So that was our the topic. So she learned when I talked to her. So that's the reason why we bring these topics that day. It's just for many people to learn. And I believe that many people have also learned about it. And it shall be well with every one of us as we all understand we go to our topic today about marriage last time we talked about before going into marriage hallelujah today we are going to be talking about when you are in marriage hallelujah i'm going to read a verse before we started hallelujah thank you holy spirit thank you jesus thank you father thank you jesus for in jesus mighty christ's name amen I'm going to take you to a, a verse I need to read before we go into it, into the topic. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, where is it? Mm. Okay. We are going to read uh, Ephesians chapter uh, 5, verse 22 to 25, okay? Don't be judged. When I started, don't think what is she preaching as she's in the side of man, as she's in the side of woman. No, I'm here to say the truth. Say the truth, the truth shall set you free. I'm here to protect your marriage, to secure your marriage. Hallelujah. First, I'm going to start with women before men. So don't think oh, she's the side of men or not. So just listen to the beginning to the end so that we understand my preaching. Hallelujah. God bless you. So now I go. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22. Hallelujah. It says, Wife, Submit yourself to your own husband as unto the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, wife, submit yourself to your own husband as unto the Lord. Hallelujah. You are not submitting. Your, it's not maybe maybe you marry say, okay, I can submit myself to my husband. I cannot submit. No, it's under must. Yes. It's under must. You must submit yourself to your own husband as unto the Lord. If you must submit yourself to the Lord, you must submit yourself to your own husband first because you are not seeing the Lord. Hallelujah. You are not seeing the Lord that God, but you are seeing your husband. If you respect your husband, meaning you are respecting God. So let me go further so that you will understand the area I'm driving to. Hallelujah. So now I want to read from uh, Thierry. He said, for a, he said, for a husband has authority over his wife, just like as Christ has authority over church. Hallelujah. He said, your husband has authority over you, just like 
Christ has authority over the church. Hallelujah. So everything that belongs to you, your husband has authority over it. You shouldn't think, hallelujah, you shouldn't think your husband is too small. Hallelujah. You shouldn't think he's too small. As long as he's not your husband, he has authority over you. You shouldn't think maybe you are a learned, is illiterate, or you are a, you are a graduate, is school sat, you can't have authority over you. If you have to think of that, you have to think of that before going into it. Not when you are in. Hallelujah. Now that you are inside the marriage, you have to respect your husband because he has authority over you according to what is written in this scripture. Hallelujah. So you shouldn't think it's big or not big or that or not. No, that respect has to be given to him as a husband. Hallelujah. Because as I said as Christ, thank Master Jesus. I have to go again because I'm not there now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He said for a husband, okay, yes, three. He said for a husband, has authority over his wife, just as Christ has authority over church. You see, so your husband has authority over just like Christ has authority over all the church. Hallelujah! As I said before, if you must respect the Lord, if you must abide to the will of God, you have to respect your husband because this is the will of God. Hallelujah! You say, respect your husband, your husband has authority over you, just like Christ has authority over the church. You must respect your husband. For peace to reign, for you to know that you really obey the word of God. Hallelujah. I'm going to read. Thank you, Master Jesus. I'm going to read. Oh, I'm still reading 23. Yes. Mm -hmm. Christ has authority over the church. Okay. Now, this is 23. It says, and Christ is, it says, Christ is himself the savior of church, his body. And so, wife must submit themselves completely to their own husband just like as the church submits itself to christ hallelujah he said you must submit yourself to your whole husband completely not think not completely you know the meaning of completely just like me i am complete everything that belongs to you everything about you completely you have to submit it to your own husband hallelujah you have to submit everything about you to your own husband Hallelujah. As church submits itself to Christ. Hallelujah. Do you understand my, my preaching, my brothers and sisters? You have to submit yourself to your own husband. As you are submitting yourself to your own husband, you are, you are abiding to the will of God. You understand? Because this is not just written that maybe fair, you can submit to your husband or not. It's not obligatoire. The French call it obligatoire. English call it under must. Hallelujah. On that must, you must submit yourself to your own husband. As you are in, if, if you want to have any complaint, it's too small or it's not, it doesn't know anything whatsoever, you have to touch of it before going into it. But now that you are into it, you have to regard your husband. You have to respect him. Before you doing anything, you have to always let your husband know for your home to secure. You have to always carry him as a king because he's not your Lord. After God in your life, your husband is the Lord to you. Hallelujah. So that is the reason why you have to always abide to your husband. So everything your husband said to you, you have to respect him. As you are respecting him, you are respecting the word of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. So now, we go. Uh, let me also uh, just uh, quote this Bible. In the book of, uh, what is the, okay, sorry, yes. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 14. In the book of Proverbs 14, verse uh, 1. It said, every wise woman... Every wise woman secure their home, but the foolish one pluck it down. Hallelujah. He said, every wise woman secure their home. The foolish one pluck it down. Hallelujah. How are you going to secure your home? When you have respect for your husband, no matter what, we know that no one is perfect. Some men, no matter how you will try to do, but fine. When you have respect, you have kept your respect. Hallelujah. When you have respect yourself for your husband, before your husband come here, everything that you know that you're supposed to do, do the cleansing, the cleaning of the house, everything you're supposed to do as a woman, when you do it, before your husband will go and look outside, it should take time. Hallelujah. Be neat to your husband. Carry yourself as a queen to your own husband. I'm not telling you that because the Bible says you should submit to your husband, that you should just lie down for your husband to be mashing you. No. You say one plus one in the things of uh, husband and wife is one. Okay? But you have to respect your own husband. You have to submit your, to your own husband completely. You understand? As unto the law. That is what is written in that scripture. You must perform well to your own husband in cleaning, 
in maintenance and everything to your own husband. You have to, when your husband says that, ha, his wife is so sexy, or you know, even some of you, your husband will even be telling you, my wife, this is what I want, please. This is the dressing I want to be dressing for me. This is the hair I want to be doing for me. This is what I really want. Your husband will even be giving you the money. Still, you will not take it. You prefer to always put nets in your hair, money tonight, not taking shower. You know, just before you know, my dear, your husband, you are pushing it out there. You understand? So you being neat to your husband, doing necessary things as a woman, when you know you have done your own part, then you leave the rest for God. So that is the reason that scripture said every uh, uh, every wise woman must secure their home. Why the foolish one pluck it down? You understand? How you have to secure your home? First, respect your husband, as that scripture say. It say respect your husband as unto the Lord. It's under must. It say respect. It say everything. It has authority over you as Christ has authority over the church. Submit yourself to him completely. That is what that scripture is talking about. If you are just coming, you can go and read the scripture. Ephesians, hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22 to 25. I'm also going to talk about men. I'm not yet to talk about one side. It's for the both side. For your for peace to reign in your home, hallelujah. As a woman, when you respect your husband, you make sure home is clean. Before, if your husband is going to work, before you come back from work, everywhere is clean, being tidy, you know. You yourself, you are clean. You surprise him with what he didn't even expect. You understand romantic things and all those things. Before you know, even if he's going out at the, even what you, you, his wife is doing for, for him. His girlfriend out there or the girl that is trying to go out for, he's not even doing it. Before you know, he will just change his mind and be her home with you. All the days you want it to be with you. Hallelujah. So that is the reason why that scripture said a wise woman or, uh, you know, secure a home marriage. Why the, the, the foolish one pluck it down? Hallelujah. So now we are going to go for the men. Thank you, Jesus. Which is um, 25. We are going to read from 25. It's a husband. Love your wife just as Christ loved the church. Hallelujah. And gave his life for it. Hallelujah. It's the husband. Love your wife as Christ loved his church and Christ gave his life to church. Hallelujah. My dear brothers, my fathers are there, my brothers are there. Please, you must love your wife. Yes. When you love your wife, your wife must respect you. Yes. Your wife must respect you. First, love your wife. Bible says woman to submit to you. Doesn't mean you should not love her. So men, no matter how women will submit to them, they will not take it. They either, they either prefer going out there to shit on the woman. Hallelujah. After she has not had children for you, she has not planned with you to be rich, to have everything you have today. There is now you will not think that there is another beautiful girl out there. It's now you will not think that she does, she's shapeless. Hallelujah. Or she doesn't look good. She, she's not the kind of type you want. Why can you say that? When you are saying that, you are offending the Lord. You are not obeying the Lord because he doesn't love your wife. According to this scripture, it's according to this scripture. Hallelujah. Let me read because I don't want to preach my word. I'm preaching the word that you will know that yes, I'm speaking the word of God. I don't have the word of man. Hallelujah. 25. I read it. They say, Husband, love your wife just as Christ loved the church and gave his life to it. Christ loved the church and gave his life to it. Hallelujah. Christ loved us and come and gave his life to us. So he said, You have to love your wife. When you love your wife, respect your wife, carry your wife as a queen. Hallelujah. Some of you, by the time you go out there to carry women, you will bless your wife down. You will say your wife doesn't know anything. She doesn't know that she's not bad. She's not, even if she's doing all her effort to be okay for you. But you will neglect everything. Hallelujah. You will neglect everything that she's not better enough. She's not this. She's shapeless. Or she's too fat. Or she's that. She's this. When you was going for her, if you have to talk of that, you have to talk of it before going into it. Not when you are in. Now that you are in, anyhow she has to you, you have to put her in the position you want her to be. In my language, many people, it said, oh boy, my don't live in my In English, it said, it's your hand that you are going to use to repair your things. How you want it to be. Hallelujah. If your wife is not that the woman that is trying, you can put her, as as if she's the woman that is not trying. As soon as you see that before Mary has, you didn't complain. Now that she's in your house, you want to complain. For you to complain, now you have to do, put her in that position. Talk to her. Build that the way you want her to be. So that she will be that woman you want her to be. Hallelujah. She will be that woman to you, you want her to be. Not because your, your height is outside there to go 
and carry other women to hurt her or to scatter your home. You will not think she's not good or the children she's having for you is bad. Uh, she, uh, uh, the children she's having, you know, mother like children, that, that, because your heart is in her side. When she was suffering, you know, suffering with you, make sure that everything become well with you guys. You didn't know that other women is existing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly, you are welcome. God bless you, my beloved sister. You understand? So you have to love your When you love your wife, you don't need to keep anything for your wife. Before you say anything, add that to anybody, your wife must know about it. That is love. You have to always have good feeling for your wife. When you love your wife, when you are in the working place, you will be thinking of how to come home. But instead of you to do that, you will just, as you are in the working place, you just prefer from there to go to your, 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 your girls, you know, you are going out with Adele. Your wife will be at home, sit down lonely, waiting for you. No. He said, husband and wife should be together. Yes. Husband and wife should be together. When they're in the book of Genesis, when they're also, also in the book of Mark, hallelujah, they cleave together to become one. In the taste of husband and wife, it's one. One plus one is one. It's one. Two of you have to be one. It don't need to be two. No. One plus one is what? One. Hallelujah. So you don't need to, you don't, it doesn't need to, 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 to look down on her or because she's that or she's this. If you have to think of that, it's before going into the marriage. Now you are inside. Whatever you want your wife to be, encourage her. Everything you want her to become, put her in that position. Yes, she will do the best for you. Anything you need her to do for you, tell her she will do it more than other guests are there. Yes, she will do it for you. Instead of you going out there to shit on her, to make her feel sad, and by the time you are hurting her, you are not only hurting her, but you are also hurting your children. Yes. When, you, when, uh, when the husband and wife is not happy, the children they are not happy, they are sad. Yes, they are sad. Just like uh, the comments uh, a guy made that day when my husband was praying, one was praying that on Monday. He said, My husband should please pray for uh, his parents. You see, the boy is not settled because his parents is not together. The guy wants them to settle. So, husband and wife have to always be together and peacefully. Please, men. He said, Love, if you are just coming now, please. I'm ready to repeat it. If you are just coming, I'll talk about women first. How women are supposed to respect their own husband, okay? Because man has authority over it. If you are just coming and welcome, God bless you all. If you are just coming, please, I want you to go to the book of uh, Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 22 to 25. Hallelujah. 22 to 24, talk about women. So why 25? Talk about a husband. Hallelujah. So you have to respect your, your husband. If you are just coming, that's why I'm repeating myself now. You have to respect your husband and submit yourself to your own husband. As unto the Lord. You are not just submitting yourself to your husband, but you are submitting yourself to the Lord because that is the written of the Lord. Hallelujah. After the Lord in your life is your husband. After the Lord, the only person you have to respect again is your husband before respecting other people are there. Hallelujah. When you don't respect your husband, the respect is supposed to respect your husband, you go and give it to other person are there. My dear, you are not obeying the word of God. God is not happy with you. Yes. You have to respect your husband as unto the Lord. Men, as I was saying before, I don't know if you guys are just coming because I see we have a number. So that's why I'm saying it again. Hallelujah. Men, you have to love your wife as Christ loved church and give his life to it. You doesn't matter to give your life to it. Love your wife. That is the most important thing. When you love your wife, you will do everything. Everything within your power to make her happy. To make her be the best woman you need. When you go out there, you see a woman that dresses in, that look good, that, you know, this woman, she's so cute, she's so that, she's so this. But your wife, you not think she's, uh, she, you know, she's so dirty or she's not trying, she's not that. Why can't you put her in that position you want her to be? Yes, you have the right to put her in that position. The clothes you see in that lady put on that make her to attract you. Go to the market, buy that same clothes for your wife. That certain dressing that lady is putting on for you out there when you go to her, go to the market, go and buy that certain dressing for your wife. By the time she see that you do that for her, she will not think herself. Yes, we are human. We have blood. Yes, we are human. She must think her for my husband to go and buy me this certain dressing. So I have to know the right thing to do for my husband. Before you know, tomorrow she will she will do the, the shots. She will even do more than your expectation. Hallelujah. So men, please love your wife. Always love your wife as Christ loved the church and gave his life to you. When you love your wife, let me say, when you love your wife, your wife will respect you. It will carry you as king. Yes. 
let me tell you. Let me tell you one thing. When you are shitting on your wife, hmm? shitting on your wife, hurting her, think she's not body, she's that, she's that. She's just looking at you. She's closing her eyes. She's closing her hand, looking at you. My dear, hmm, your life is gone. Let me tell you the truth. Your life is gone. Either she's shitting on you also, or she's having something in her mind. She might even poison you. Let her be sincere, yes. Yeah. Because no one is perfect. When you do the first mistake, she understands that, ah, no one is perfect. You apologize, my wife. Please, it won't happen again. She will understand perfectly well, okay? Then again, you went and do it again. And think if she wants to die, let her go and die. At the end of the day, she's still in your house there. My dear, you are in risk. Yes. She might poison you. Those that stand are truth, stand for truth. She might poison you, but after she don't mind what she, she don't even mind or uh, what she's going to, you know, where she's going to, whether she's going to go to or uh, jail or she's going to FIR, she don't care. But in that pain, the pain you cost her, she will want to wicked you. Hallelujah. So that is the reason you don't need to shit on your her wife. Husband and wife have to be together peacefully, happiness, live together, happy always. Not just shitting on her. At the end of the day, you will be happy at the she will just be at home, feel sad. Calling your children there. No. Even if you guys have children already. Even if you guys have children, it doesn't matter. Yes. Some men they will say she have had children, she have had this. Oh uh, no, let me go for that. If one of those guys you want to go out there, <laughs> your wife hundred percent is better than them because you are just the one going for your wife. But of all those guys, there many men are going for them. Yes. Many different different kind of men are going for them. But you are just, you know, you are just going. You are just having your wife alone. You have to respect your wife and do everything in your power to put her in the position you want her to be. So that when other people see her, they will say, How? Look at the way this woman is cute. Look at the way you take care of her. As they are praising the woman, they are praising the name of God. They are also praising.